I don't know what it is that happened, Satch, but ultimately, some it feels like something happened here that really pushed you to the point where it's like, boundaries. Okay, I'm done here. I really don't even think you want to discuss it. There's no need to. You see what it is you need to see. You understand what it is you need to understand, especially on an emotional level, and that's helping you put boundaries in place. And what I just heard from this Ace of Pentacles is a new life cycle. Hey there Sagittarius, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up my Saggies? So welcome to March, yeah? Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, the roles can be reversed. We could be talking to a cross watcher here. So just because I may be narrating it one way, that doesn't mean that it absolutely has to be the way that it shows up in your life. Please don't try to fit anything into your situation that doesn't naturally fit there, yes? Um, uh, I am available for personal readings. If you'd like to get one with me, just check the description box below. You'll find my email address and a list of the readings that I offer, some of the readings that I offer. Um, my email is divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. Also, if you are vibing with me as a reader and you would like to get a little bit more content, uh, I highly recommend that you check me out on Patreon, yeah? Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. We do daily readings there and also bi-weekly twin flame mirror readings and bi-weekly inner masculine, inner feminine readings for those of us that are really working on balancing, harmonizing, and integrating our inner masculine and feminine ener energies. Sorry, I got a notification on my phone and it distracted me. Ha <laughs> ha All right, Saggy. Um, oh, oh, wait, before I go any further, for this month, uh, this is the month of March, and so we do have St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. So because of that, I was feeling influenced and guided to get our Oracle guidance, our closing message from the Fairy Forest Oracle. And then we will be using the mystical manga tarot this month. Yes? Alrighty, Sag, let's get into your pre-shuffle energies. So for you, I feel like you have come to a specific level of clarity. This feels very specific. It feels like you've reached a certain understanding about your past or maybe even your heritage. I, I just heard that. But... um you it's like you you're crystal clear on something now from your past that's allowing you to move forward and allowing you to tackle a sense of greater self mastery okay you have the eight of wands which does represent your energy sagittarius all right and here this is saying to me that you have the clear i'm hearing the mental clarity to move on there may have been some sort of conversation that you had with a family member I'm feeling specifically maybe your parents, a mother and father figure or something like that, um, or just a friend or a loved one. But I feel like for some of you, there could have actually been a conversation that really opened your eyes. I don't think if there was a conversation or something, maybe an argument or a battle or whatnot, I don't feel like you're really engaging any further. I don't feel like you're trying to continue the conversation um, at least if the conversation has ended at this point or like whatever it, it's behind you, I don't feel like you're trying to, 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 to explain anymore, to talk anymore about it because I just feel like you've got the clarity. Something was said, something happened, you, whatever, and it, it really opened your eyes to something. So instead of trying to stay or stick around or stay in the situation and, focus on fixing it or healing it. Instead, you're going within and focusing in on fixing on or healing or working on yourself. Okay, you have the Three of Pentacles. You also have the Six of Cups, which is representing that past element. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have Judgment to the Hierophant, to the Ten of Pentacles, to the Wheel of Fortune, to the Devil, wow, to the King of Swords. There you go. To the Emperor. There you go, Sag. Okay. This is beautiful. This is very similar to Leo now, because now we're getting to the Eight of Swords and to death here, okay? Uh, but what this is basically saying is that um, there's a call. There's a wake-up call. 
Okay, there's an alarm going off. And it's in terms of conformity. This could be a family situation. This could be a social group. This could just be a long-standing situation. Some sort of social norms, uh, societal norms, um, um, social conformity or something like that. Or it, this kind of just feels like a, the, the way a group of people does things or the way that this circumstance or situation has been all along, right? That's coming to a close, okay? Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're graduating from this, especially coupled with judgment here. There's a big change happening, a big shift in karmic energies because you're releasing yourself from some sort of conformity, attachment, codependency, something like that, because you're seeing something clearly for what it truly is, King of Swords, and you're putting yourself in the executive position to make a decision for yourself that's going to help you break free from some sort of confinement mental prison and go through a major transformation death okay all right sag i like this for you i really do um let me just reset here and then we will get into the rest of your messages for the month yes excellent all right, one more reset shuffle. All right, Saji, let's get into the rest of this here and see what we've got for your month. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians at this time. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representations in terms of the general energies for Sagittarius for the month of March of 2021. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, Sag, I'm going to give this five shuffles, but already I keep hearing social conformity. It's done. It's dead. It's over. One. Okay. This is two for Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of March 2021. This is three. Sag. Suddenly have an itch on my back. Okay. Boop. All right. Overall energy. Death. I literally just heard the conformity, the social conformity is coming to an end. This is a major, major life transformation for you. Underneath death, excellent, is the chariot, all right? So this is you being in the driver's seat. And what's funny was when I was talking about the emperor, instead of saying you being in the executive position, in my, my head, I wanted to say you being in the driver's seat. But I tend to like to reserve that phrase for this card. Well, here you have it, okay? You're in the driver's seat here. And I do feel like you've got some really strong emotional boundaries at this point. I don't know what it is that happened Sag, but ultimately, some it feels like something happened here that really pushed you to the point where it's like boundaries. Okay, I'm done here. And I don't even, I really don't even think, I, I again, I heard social conformity, but I really don't even think you want to discuss it. There's no need to. There's no need to. You see what it is you need to see. You understand what it is you need to understand, especially on an emotional level, and that's helping you put boundaries in place. And ultimately helping you create something new. You have the Ace of Pentacles here. And what I just heard from this Ace of Pentacles is a new life cycle. Okay, Sag. First set of surrounding energies in your first half in the first half of your reading, you have the Five of Wands. 
I feel like this five of wands energy could have been something that has been holding you back in the past. I feel like there was, I feel like you may have been going back and forth. You may have wanted to leave this behind for a while and, but you've just been going back and forth about it. Maybe some individuals were help had enough of a convincing argument to get you to stay, or maybe you just didn't know what it is was best. So you were just kind of, let me, let me just like stay here. Mutable energies. You know what I mean? Like mutable energies are able to really, I like to say mutable energies are like water or like a liquid um, instead of. I mean, if you just let it go, it'll just just flow on out there and not take no real shape. But if you put it in a, in a container, then it molds itself. It, it naturally just becomes, it takes on the shape of that container. And that's kind of how I understand mutable energies. And I feel like that might have been where this social conformity was coming up for you because you were just allowing yourself to go with the flow or just allowing yourself to take up whatever container that or box people were putting you in, but not anymore. Okay, this five of wands energy feels like that back and forth, that internal conflict as to whether or not you should change in transformation and go in your own direction or if you should just stay in this cute little cubby hole. Five of wands is coupled with, mm, but then we have the queen of pentacles, just like Leo. Leo got the queen of pentacles in this same exact position. You might have Leo in your chart. You might be dealing with a Leo. Or you might just want to watch the Leo reading because it might it may it may resonate with you. But it seems like the deciding factor here, whether you come, whether you you actually find yourself in this space of understanding currently or not, ultimately the deciding factor here is eleven eleven on the counter is what do I bring to the table? What is my true value? What am I truly worthy of? And I feel like that that is that really is the the deciding factor. Okay. Are you being honored here? Are you being respected here? Are you is your is your value taken into account and honored? And if not, I really don't see a reason why you should stay around. Again, that's the deciding factor here. Your second set of surrounding energies for you. Satch in the first half of your reading. The Four of Cups. There, there's that reluctance. I'm hearing there's that reluctance to let go. There's that reluctance to see clearly. There's that reluctance to do what maybe what is right for you. And it also could be the energies of the other person or the other people involved in this that actually I feel like in some cases or in some ways was influencing you to, to say, oh, okay, yeah, maybe I shouldn't. Four of Cups is coupled with the Two of Cups. So this could be a romantic relationship for some of you. Um, a situationship in which, you know, you had a bond with somebody, but... I heard someone was reluctant to let go. That might have been you. Or someone was reluctant to see clearly. Okay, so someone may have been reluctant to let go, and the other person may have been reluctant to see clearly. To see what it is they truly value about this relationship is what I just heard. To honor that. I don't know why I keep hearing social conformity for you, Saj. Okay. Uh, cl uh, your challenge is the Wheel of Fortune. And I just heard allowing things to change, but also stepping off the karmic hamster wheel. Is that so, sir? <gasps> Whoa! Oh my God, you guys, there's a white rooster outside. All white. I have not seen a white rooster. I've been here for months now. I've been here for eight months and I have never seen an all white rooster. Oh my God, and it's beautiful too. I'm so sorry, that was a, sorry. Um, Wheel of Fortune, okay. Uh, Okay, so first of all, you, some of you might want to look up the significance of a white rooster. Like literally all white. And all the roosters and all the chickens around here have all these beautiful colors. I have never seen a white rooster. Anyway, you might want to look up the the uh, the significance of that. But uh, but also, also the, 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 the significance of a rooster spiritually or energetically is like speaking up for yourself. Uh, uh, letting your voice be heard. And the, the color of white 
it's so beautiful, you guys. It's it's literally all white with a red head, like the red thing on its head. Is that a rooster? Or a, I think that's a rooster. But anyway, the color of white is purity. Okay, so there is a sense of there, if this if that resonates with you, then there is a you're pure of heart, or there's a there is a really pure place that you are coming from, and 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 it's this social conformity that I keep hearing about that is actively or trying to tarnish that purity within you. And so thus, your challenge here is the wheel of fortune, allowing yourself to close out this karmic chapter, step off this karmic hamster wheel. And what I was going to say right before that rooster spoke up was um, the longer you, st the more you stay in this type of energy or in this cycle, whether it's with the same people or whether it's a, with a whole new group of people, the longer you stay, the longer you're going to be dealing with this karmic energy. Okay? You can't jump from one group to the next of the same energies thinking that it's going to be different. No. You've got to completely change the whole landscape. Wheel of Fortune is coupled with the three of pentacles. Self-mastery. Teamwork also. So for some of you, I, I want you to ask yourself, is this situation that you're in with these people, this group of people, or this, this partner, if this, if this is romantic for you, 555 five, five on the counter, is this a team, team situation? Like, are y'all a team? Or are you just kowtowing? Are you just giving in? Or are you just in a sense of conformity? Appeasement. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Sag, in the first half of your reading, you have the Seven of Wands, overcoming and maintaining your boundaries. I feel, and I feel like this is, these are hard boundaries for some of you, and you're really doing it. But also being able to overcome this situation and to get yourself into the driver's seat, okay? This is really, this really is, could, this really could be some very strong boundaries for you guys the Queen of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. Either you need to put these boundaries in place or you already have. Okay, that's a good thing. The Seven of Wands is coupled with, ah, the Knight of Pentacles. And for some of you, I feel like this is saying you're not going to allow someone else's doubt or fear or disbelief to keep you from moving forward. I do feel like there is a recognition of you being consistent you needing to be patient and you just needing to slowly but surely day by day, take it day by day, moment by moment, and just keep moving forward, all right? Maintaining those boundaries, knowing full well that eventually you'll come out of this on the other side in a be much better position than you were when you were still back there. You guys, this is so cool. Okay, sorry. I, I literally, I've been living in i'm in puerto rico if you don't know um and i live up in the mountains and there have always been chickens and roosters around but i have never seen an all-white rooster okay anyway getting into the second half of your reading here saggy first set of surrounding energies you have the eight of cups i swear the phrase social conformity is on a freaking loop in my head in these energies, all right? So just keep that in mind. But here you go. Eight of Cups, walking away. Wa I just heard walking away from a long-standing relationship that is really not going anywhere. Eight of Cups is coupled with... Ah, there you go, Sag. The Ten of Swords. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a rooster. Loud mouth. Anyway, um, <laughs> there you go. See, we don't have the Five of Swords here. We do have the Five of Wands, all right? So, okay. But this just, it's just like no longer fighting for something. It's like you've reached a plateau or at this point you recognize that this shit ain't going anywhere else. So in order for you to really stop the struggle, stop the cycle, you have to walk away and allow this to end. Give yourself time to heal and like pull those swords out of your back, right? <laughs> second set of surrounding energies for you, Sag. In the second half of your reading, you have the High Priestess. 
Uh, I definitely feel like you're stepping into the unknown. I, for some of you, you're opening up to psychic awareness, spiritual awareness, uh, the mysteries of the universe, the unknown of the universe. I feel like at some, for some of you at this point, you would much rather trust in the universe and the mystery and the unknown rather than stay in this box or sit they into in this social conformist or just conformist environment. You would much rather trade the stability or the um, predictability of where it is you were in the past for the infinite energy, the abundance and the mystery and the who knows of the high priestess. I feel like you're really learning this lesson. And if it's not that, then this is you gaining a higher perspective or a higher awareness, again, which is putting you in this energy of holding emotional boundaries and maybe not even really expressing what it is you, you're moving towards or how it is you're changing. Like it, 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 it does, it really kind of feels like there's no reason to, there's no need to talk about it. It's not like it's going to change their minds. So why even try? The high priestess is coupled with the three of swords. So you guys really are in this position right now of seeing the higher awareness of what it is that's been hurting you or this conform social conformist environment. You see it from a higher per perspective, which then would even allow, would again convince, well not convince, but allow you or influence you to not even really try and gain any closure or gain any respect or gain any like a, like an apology or talk it out or anything like that. You see it from a higher perspective now. And that's allowing you to let go of it. Or at least it can. Okay. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Sag, is the two of pentacles. Remaining balanced and 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 this actually might be a challenge for you right now, Sag, because some of you may want to fire back. Some of you may want to <laughs> release the Kraken on them or like just like give them a piece of your mind or have at it, whatnot, whatever, but it's not necessary. Okay. I What I want to say is don't compromise your position by stooping down to their level or trying to explain or tr this, that, and the, don't, don't. It's not necessary. Two of Pentacles is coupled with the Ten of Wands. Okay. Laying down the burden, letting go of the baggage. Uh, what this Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands is saying in your challenge for some of you is either an awareness of this or it is a reminder to not accept or put any more on your plate than is necessary. So for some of you in terms of wanting to fire back or wanting to retaliate, maybe you need to keep in mind that that can only make things that much more difficult for you. That can only add more weight or baggage onto your shoulders than is necessary. What this kind of feels like, Sag, is a good amount of you are at this place where your, 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 um, your slate is, fair, is fairly clean, okay? And it's balanced in that way. Don't add more on to this than is necessary for you to carry. All right? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Sag, is the king of pentacles. Being solid, stable, and sturdy within yourself. Knowing who you are. Not letting anyone else sway you or, or, or confuse you or like get you out of this place of knowing yourself. Knowing what it is you've accomplished, knowing how far it is that you come at this point, knowing what it is you provided to the situation, who you were in the situation, regardless of what they other other people may want to tell you you were. You know the truth. You know who you are. You know who you've been all along. And you know who they've been all along, right? King of Pentacles is coupled with, yeah, the Five of Pentacles, though. But, but, but I feel like this is you coming out of rising out of lack mentality, rising out of codependency and being sturdy and stable within yourself. I find, I feel like you are finally in a place, Sag, where you can look yourself in the mirror and say, I know damn well who I am. And this energy is not me any longer. Okay. Beautiful. All right. 
let's close out this reading here for you, Sagittarius. Get you some oracle guidance. Yeah? Five shuffles. One. This is two. Three. Four. And five. All right, Sag. Closing Oracle Guidance for the month of March 2021. What do we have for you, Sagittarius? The fourth time. Holy shit. This, this, what, I swear, I swear to you guys. This one card, this is the fourth time this card has come out this month. And it came out for Leo. Right before I did your reading. It's the Green Witch. This is so crazy. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna read it again for you. Well, not again, because you guys haven't heard it yet, unless you watched some of the other readings in which it came out, but like, whatever. The Green Witch, fresh, new, spring. When you are pure of heart, the whole world is full of potential. And this is the message from the, this innocent Green Witch to you. She is green, as in the fresh new shoot from the seed pushing urgently towards the sun. She is green and connected to the earth, flowing with the cycles of nature. She is green in that she looks as much to the natural world for company, friendship, and fulfillment as you currently do to fellow humans. She is your reminder to begin to reconnect to the wild green world, to the fairy forest all about you, to go back to a place where you empty yourself of expectations and stories and knowledge and just admit that in some circumstances and at some times, you are as a babe. You are newborn, and in that moment of unknowingness and of admitting and embracing your own powers of renewal, you can finally learn what it is you are here to learn. Be not so certain or so experienced when this card comes to you. Be new, be fresh, be unwise, be unknowing, be innocent, and then the new cycle can truly begin. There you have it, Sag. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a personal reading for me, I am available. Just check the description box below. Also, I encourage you guys to check us out over on Patreon. Yeah, we have a lot of fun there. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of April. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>